When you really start to look inside, you come upon what I call the sort of self-transcendent values, because there's the ego's values, but when we go deeper than the ego, then we are literally transcending ego. There's self-transcendent values, which means you run into orient life orientations that, yes, they're good for you, and they make you feel good. They help you to feel good, and they give you direction, and they make your life feel rich and deep and meaningful, but they also are meaningful and rich and profound and good for everyone around you, right? So when we, there are these sort of universal kind of orientations, these universal values that are actually good for everybody. They're not just good for you. And that's what I'm talking about when I talk about sort of a self-transcendent value of being. And to see what, what is that for you. If you've had whatever your deepest experience, your most meaningful experience in life has been, if you translated that into a, a value, into peace or, or, or love or truth or service or whatever that might be for you, what would that be? And that's a, that's a profound um, contemplation. And it's a contemplation that I would suggest for anybody. And one of the reasons is once you start to have a feeling for what those deep values might be, then you've, you've started to find the means through which you can live your deepest insights. When those insights translate down into relative human experience, one of the ways, one of the things they translate into and through and can function through is sort of these life-orienting principles, what you hold is most valuable. By the way, even if you have no idea what's most valuable to you, your life is already being oriented by certain values, whether you have them, whether you know them or not, whether you even think you have them or not. At every moment, at every moment, you, your life is being oriented. It is being given direction. Even if you're unconscious of what's giving you direction, it is there. You know, for some people, what's giving their life direction is, is envy or jealousy or, or hate or revenge or the desire to prove themselves to mommy or daddy or, you know, or love or truth or peace or something. If you had no, n nothing that was giving orientation to your life, you literally, your whole mechanism wouldn't know what to do next. Because at any moment, there's almost an infinite possibility of and variety of things that you could do, that you could pay attention to. Why does anybody pay attention to what they pay attention to? Why does anyone do what they do? Of the almost infinite things you could do, you know, why do you get up out of your chair at a certain moment? Why do you go to the refrigerator at a certain moment? Why do you go to, you know, why do you, what's, what's orienting you at, at every single moment? You see, there's, for most people, these, what's, or, what is orienting and giving shape to their life is unconscious. It's what we in spirituality call sort of a, almost like a conditioned reflex, an unexamined, conditioned reflex. And if you've never looked at it, then you've simply got the one that got established by brute conditioning. You know, no, no, through no choice of your own, through, not through sort of introspection, not through wisdom, just through 
automatic process of conditioning and boom, you're oriented however you're oriented in any moment. You're motivated however you're motivated in any moment. It's one of the things that can be so challenging about sort of when we're trapped in the egoic identity because in, in essence, we think we're guiding everything, we think we're doing and choosing everything, but actually we're constantly having this experience of impulses, the impulses that are very conditioned and to a large part unconscious that are pushing us this way and pushing us that way and put, even if pushing you emotionally in one direction and then another direction and then another direction and then another direction and you just feel the more unconscious this is, the more you feel at the whim of these psychological and emotional forces that are completely beyond your control. Well, each one of those forces, each one of those emotional reactions, each one of those even physical actions, are, are a manifestation of some sort of orienting principle. 